going on, everyone? It is Wednesday, and it is an awesome day. But you know why it's an awesome day? You know why? Why? Because it is what's going on Wednesdays. Yes, I'm Eric Gavin, and I'm Jonathan Jones. Welcome to another great episode of What's Going On Wednesdays. Look, y'all. I hope y'all tuned in last week to uh, our podcast. The R Smooth Club podcast on Rugby Eagle TV. So if you didn't, be sure to subscribe on YouTube right now. It was an awesome show. Did you check it out, Jaden? I did. Man, I'm going to check it out. You want to show? Man, I had some, we, it was some great last man. We talked about relationships. We talked about, uh, what else we talking about? We talked about our top three uh, destination places we would love to visit, like bucket list places we would love to visit. Um, we also talked about collegiate athletes getting paid. Man. We still talking about that. We still probably gonna be talking about it, mm-hmm. but I mean, I, I mean, how you been doing the show? It's good, man. I have fun. Um, the setting's good. The vibes are good. Always, 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 always. Well, look, y'all. Again, I hope y'all tuning in. But today is what's going on Wednesdays, and be sure to tune in, you know, tomorrow to another episode of Our Smooth Club Podcast, the show where everyday men discuss everyday topics. But we got some stuff to talk about, Jake, because we got some breaking news. We got some. We got some breaking, yeah. breaking news. James Harden, James and the former MVP, uh, former uh, NBA MVP, um, he's you know he's traded. He's, he 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 demanded a trade, and you know he's been not happy in Houston. He has been traded to the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets. So it's like it's him, KD, Kyrie. Now everybody is like saying on paper they about to tear it up. Yeah. On paper they about to tear it up. But honestly, personality wise, like do you, how do you think it's going? You know, I don't know, three superstars, uh, it's gonna be hit or miss. Not just three superstars, all of them want the ball. Yeah. Like, like Loki, all of them wants the ball. I'm mean, thinking you got you got James Harden that's coming from a squad where he is always averaging like 50 plus points in the game. You have KD, pretty much the same thing, you know, 30, you know, 30 more. Um, Kyrie. So it's it's really hard, but it's been difficult, you know, lately because like Kyrie is on he was missing for a minute, and you know I think that the uh, the the league had um, fined him um, like like fifty thousand dollars, and he has to quarantine because they had this surveillance. They caught him in a in a party, not wearing a mask and stuff. So he you know he's been you know some trouble right now. He's been on like a like a weird streak because this showed him burning some sage in the you know in the basketball court. I don't know if there's some bad vibes going on. I don't know. I ain't gonna guess it, but you know. Something's been a little off with Kyrie. No, um, I saw a funny meme. It was like the big three or whatever. It was like KD uh, missing. It was like nobody in the picture because Kyrie's missing. And then it was Mark Henry for uh, James Harden. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Man, it's, I mean, it, it, it's interesting. I mean, again, like, you know, KD has, uh, uh, you know, he's a former teammate of um, of James Harden. You know, they have the, the squad in, um, in um, uh, Oklahoma City. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, 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 they, they had a great, great, you know, great team. They didn't win a championship at that time. But, you know, KD since then went to uh, Golden State, won two rings. Now he's uh, now he's in Brooklyn. Um, it's going to be interesting. But I bring it up, though, because a certain star uh, that we're all familiar with, y'all, Shaquille O'Neal, Dr. Shaq. Shaq Diesel himself has said, and he and, I, and it was it was hilarious because let me let me pull up my let me pull up my notes let me pull up my notes. He had uh, oh Lord, what is that? what is that? Well, I'll pull up a little later. But anyway, he had said, uh, you know, you've had you've asked for Dwight Howard at the time when you were in Houston. Mm-hmm. You've asked for uh, CP3. CP3 didn't work out. Um, then you asked for Russell. You had asked for shooters, and then you asked for Russell Westbrook. Never has there been a ring during his time. And I think he played for like eight years, eight or nine years with um, with uh, uh, Houston. So hasn't been a ring since. So they're like, okay, you got a super team now. If you don't win now, it's a bust, dude. Like, I mean, you got you have to win right now. It's you, KD, Kyrie. You got to win. They're coached by Steve Nash, the Hall of Famer himself, Steve Nash. Um, they they got to win. They got a future Hall of Famer. I don't know if he's in but they got to win. So, if he doesn't pull this one off, man, I don't know. What, I don't know. What, what, what does that say? What does that say, JJ? I mean, he asked him. <laughs> he, he wanted to get out. I mean, he's probably been quitting on the Rockets the whole season since it started. And, like, even, like, the teams have said, like, 
Well, if you can't get somebody to buy into winning because he's just so set on leaving, like, if you want to leave that bad, That's then true. you you need to go and do it. Well, shit, you know, Mike D'Antoni was their coach. He he left. He didn't get fired. The man left. He said, I'm going to be free. I've never heard of a coach say, I'm going to be free next year. I'm like, mm-hmm. they can do that. But Dude, I saw some uh, tweet somebody said it was like LeBron went west and everybody goes east. KD went east. I mean, it might be some truth to it though. It might be some truth to it though. I but, mean, I think that though, if they do and they can have the chemistry and stuff, the the Nets and Lakers up here. Yeah, it, uh, it, 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 that, would actually, match up. that would be a great matchup when you think about it though. Because again, you know what? LeBron, everybody wants to play with LeBron. LeBron mm-hmm. is a beast of his own. He got AD. He had, you know, at that time, well, last season, he had a, a huge squad. Now, he, you know, he's still getting some uh, big pieces in. Mm-hmm. But that will be a great, you know, great match, uh, great matchup. But hopefully we do see, you know, him improve. We do see some results. What Brooklyn, Brooklyn has too many talented players to not mm-hmm. succeed. Now, it's hard for me to see, say that because I am a diehard Knicks fan. Mm-hmm. So, yep. in my eyes, there's only one New York yikes. squad. There ain't, ain't no yikes. Ain't no yikes. <laughs> ain't, there's only one New York squad. All right, that's me. Oh my! All right, all right. Shout out to Spike Lee, man, the legend himself. But man, so that's so that's that. So hopefully, you know, wish everything well with James Harden and the Brooklyn Nets. You know, a huge deal that they have going don't on. Hey, please don't, please don't. It's a lot going for you. You get paid a lot of money per year. You got to make something happen. So let's see what's going on. The next thing I'm going to talk about, JJ, is so. There's a, a, a pro soccer player out in Japan who had just signed an extension deal with this team. Now, why why do you think I'm you know bring that up? They're like, okay, who who you know who, who really cares? It's a typical you know a player signed extension, whatever. But here's a unique thing: this man is 53 years old. 53, professional soccer. Not not golf, okay? Not not a a, a kicker in the NFL. Uh, this man is a soccer player. Running back and forth, stamina galore, and he's 53 years old. This man, his name is Kazu. Ooh, I can't. Ooh, Kaz, Ka, Kazu Yoshi Miura. Try to say that five times. Mm-hmm. I can't. But he signed an extension deal uh, with his uh, with the uh, Yoka Yokohama oh, excuse me, Yokohama uh, FC Yo Yokohama Football uh, Club. Uh, and he signed a one-year deal with them. It will be his 17th year playing with them. But listen to this. He will be entering into his 36th season. That's crazy. 36 years playing with professional side. Like, I, you know, people think in, in football, people think, you know, like, for example, like Tom Brady. Tom Brady is going on 20 years, 21 years. Yeah. playing. He's saying he wants to play until he's 45. People are like, please. Good luck with that, buddy. Good luck with that. You would sack away from saying, okay, I'm getting my hand. <laughs> but that is, that is insane. The fact that this man is 53 years old, he's competing with, he, for his first, it's saying right now, his first year playing was 1986 at the age of 19. He's 53 now. 86. Like, man. Man, like, what's the rest? What you eat? You weren't even what's born. The secret? What, what's, the, what's the secret? What are you eating? 1986. All that running, like, that man, oh my. And he look, look. He's smiling too, love him. All that great. Oh, that great and smiling. I mean, that is insane. He is actually the first. Um, let me see here. I believe he is the first player. Oh, excuse me, the oldest professional uh, uh, soccer athlete to score. Um, or the oldest because I think he scored a goal at the age of 50, 50 years and fourteen days. And yeah, he still continues to play. He's been with this team for um, for seventeen years. He's played with numerous teams prior to that. Um, he holds uh, records out in Japan, of course, more gold. I'm like, shoot, he's been playing since everybody was been born. He's That's he crazy. started his career before Lionel Messi was born. Yeah. And you see how beast Lionel Messi is right now. But the fact of the matter is, you know, the more the story is, hey, no matter how old you are, man, you take care of your body, you continue to love the sport, you keep on, you know, you keep on playing. Like, Facts. I mean, you being, you know, you being big on hockey, hey, like, man, who's the oldest person, at least that you know? Uh, I mean, not personally, but you think, can think uh, of Bobby Orr, he was like, he was maybe late 40s, early 50s. But that was back in like the 70s. Was that the one because, because the, the, no, okay, I'm thinking. Bobby Orr's like the one, uh, 
the Boston guy who they has a picture of him in the air. Oh yeah, 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 yeah that was him. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is, like, he was I think he was like around late forties, fifties, and his son was in the NHL. So, like him and his oh, son, I think, were on the same team at one point. That and see, that's what I think. That's what uh, that's what uh, LeBron. Uh, I think I would like to see LeBron, you know, kind of do that with his mm-hmm. son because I think with the rumors are saying he's trying to continue playing the league until his son gets in, he would like to you know go one on one against him. But um, but that's crazy, man. Because I usually see him, I usually see him in baseball. I usually see it in man, you know, maybe hockey, mm-hmm. um, box boxing. I mean, hell, you got uh, you know, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. They just yeah. you know just had a fight, so you know you got you got a lot of older cats still saying, hey, look, I, I, I got what it takes, and I can still compete. But uh, I mean, that's just 53 years old playing soccer, man. It, it's still it's still blowing my mind to this day, but. The crazy thing is he's actually not the oldest. I remember reading about him. I don't have it. I don't have it on my notes, but there was a player uh, who was like 73. And I'm not making I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. He was 73 and he was uh, he was the oldest player ever. Uh, old, oldest athlete, the oldest soccer player ever. And I mean, I, I forgot which state or country he was out of, but eh, he ain't scored nothing. I mean he just showed him dressed up, you know, he played, he got the Guinness Book of World Records, but this guy is legit. This, guy, this man running again <laughs> for real. Like I mean, breaking a sweat and everything. Uh, I still can't get over it. I still can't get over it. But anyway, y'all, that's that's all we got for today. I just had to, we just had to bring that up to you guys. Look, I hope you all are doing well on this Wednesday. Please, please, please be sure to tune in tomorrow, Thursday night at 7 p.m. on Rugged Eagle TV on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe. Our Smooth Club, the show where everyday men discuss every topic. It is our new weekly podcast that we got going on on um, on uh, YouTube. It's an awesome, awesome show. It's myself along with JJ and a few of our other good friends, business owners. We talk about everyday topics, relationships, sports, entertainment. You name it, we talk about it, and we just have a good time. Of course, we got to enjoy a good a good drink as well. And for all you beard lovers out there that, you know, you need some assistance as far as improving your beard, you see these great little beards on this, on this screen right now, please be sure to check out Rugged Evolution Beard Care. For more information, go to RuggedEvo.com. That's R-U-G-G-E-D-E-V-O.com. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to tune in every Wednesdays on What's Going On Wednesdays. Again, subscribe to Rugged Evo TV. And remember, please remember, Rugged is... The new smooth.